Now we come to one of the biggest movie stories of the year, Heaven's Gate, the $36 million <laughs> Western with a message that was first released last November in New York City, where it was thoroughly roasted by critics there and then pulled from release after only one week's run, pulled to be re-edited from its running time of more than three and a half hours. I saw the long version of the film in New York back in November, and it was pretty much of a mess. Bad sound, confusing characters and locations. Now, however, the film's been cut by 40%. It runs two hours and 18 minutes, and it's still a turkey. Heaven's Gate, <laughs> set mostly in Wyoming in 1890, tells the story of the Johnson County Wars, wars between a cattle growers association and immigrant farm families. In the film, the association draws up a death list of 125 immigrants and then hires thugs to have them murdered. Chris Christopherson plays the Harvard U.S. Marshal who wants to keep the peace. Christopher Walken plays a hired gun out to kill the immigrants, and French actress Isabelle Huppert plays a prostitute whom they both love. At her home, Christopherson confronts Walken, claiming that he failed to tell Huppert that her name is on that death list. I appreciate your job, Edward. He doesn't give a damn about you. He didn't see fit to even tell you himself. Tell me what? The association's got a death list. And your name's on it. Get up, Nate. I'm gonna whip your ass. Stop, I please, Mom! you yet? Stop, no, please, Jim, stop. Nate, is it true? I swear to Christ, I, I don't even know what he's talking about. I asked you to be my wife, Ella. Lots of screaming there, but one of the major failures of the <laughs> film is that it doesn't adequately explain those relationships. We don't understand at all why Huppert likes Christopher Walken. She even charges him for her sexual favors. The film concludes, as you might expect, with a pitched battle between the association, its thugs, and the immigrant families. But it's hard to tell the players without a scorecard because of all the dust in the air. I just love that little subtitle at the end that says, help me. See, these are Slavic immigrants, and supposedly it'll help us to know that she was screaming and meant, help me. In I mean, the, in the middle is, of all that chaos. This right. is re, these are re-editing that they've done to help improve the story. So, uh -huh. I'm so frightened, George, read another title. This is really a screwball film. This was intended, though, to be an important film that said something to show us that the West was built upon more than just Indian blood, that it's in the nature of corporate America to run roughshod over the working class. Well, unfortunately, we get those points in about the first 20 minutes of Heaven's <laughs> Gate, and for the next two hours, we have to suffer through one boring and sometimes laughable conversation after another, interspersed with meaningless activities like a roller skating party and a baseball <laughs> game. It's mostly because of the illogical character relationships, though, that Heaven's Gate, in its long form and its short form, fails completely. Okay, now I agree with everything you've said so far. <laughs> I want to go on and add some more categories. First of all, uh -huh. this is the most unpleasant movie to look at that I can remember. Not only do you get all the dust that we saw in that scene, yes. but in other scenes you have smoke, you have fog, mm -hmm. you cannot see the people, you can't it, see what they're doing. Then every scene is shot in soft focus mm -hmm. and it's all toned down into sepia tones of kind of a dirty, muddy yellow yeah. so that there's nothing pleasant to look at. You it's it's almost as if they set out to spend $36 million and put almost nothing on the screen. Well, the, the, the thing that bugged me was that there's dust in all the rooms. So on the interior shots, uh -huh. it's also a lot uh -huh. of fog. I think this is just a, an example of what can go wrong when you try to build a grand scale movie and forget 
for me at least, that the characters are all important. They've spent too much money on the props, not enough time on writing characters who are going to walk in front of the props. I was really shocked. I went to see it. I thought, gee, it can't be as bad as uh, everybody said it was as bad as everybody said. <laughs> Two great big no votes on Heaven's Gate, the confusing, aimless, and extremely dusty western <laughs> by Michael Cimino.